Have any of you guys ever been an extra on set? I have. You have for what? For a commercial. What'd you have to do? Only leading role. You know what's funny? It was my buddy was directing. Um, have you guys ever heard of Round One? Oh yeah. It's that You've heard of Round Table Pizza? Yeah, it's like a Japanese-made yeah. like Dave and Buster's. That's awesome. And um, it was the weirdest commercial ever. But like I had to be in the back pretending like I was drinking a beer, playing pool like. Whoa! We're having fun. Like, it was you were in a round one commercial? Yeah. Was it a beer or was it like some fucking tea or some shit? It, it was Yerba Mate tea. Yeah. <laughs> How long were you there for? Anymore? I was there for all day. <laughs> yeah, just for that one scene. Just shit. for. I was, I was in. Is it Yerba Mate? I have no idea. I've always just said Yerba Mate. I've yeah, said that Yerba too. Mate. Yeah. I've been cussed out for saying it wrong. Yeah. Okay, so it's your Mate? Yeah, you better watch out. Oh, so I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, we're, can we edit, edit that out? The camera? <laughs> no, I don't want to be a fucking idiot. That's the only clip don't we take away from all of this. Your <laughs> 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 Mate. Was, Sponsored uh, by. I was an extra for Comics Unleashed with Byron Allen. No fucking way! Are you fucking serious? The, the show we've been making fun of this whole time? I you never there. brought that wow. up. I didn't bring it up. No, I thought I did. No, you didn't, dude. Like, what did you do? We talked about it before. Why? Oh, dude, I, I was just in the fucking audience. We're, we're all there. We're, dry, we're trying to be, we, have, we had to be yeah. seals. Did you ever have any real laughter? No, bro, honestly, it was a really brutal day. Really brutal, dark day. <laughs> dark day for comedy, all around. How much you get paid for that? Dude, we got like 50 bucks and we spent like 30 of it at Taco Bell after. It was a really dumb day, really dumb day. Well, that's all a lot of food at Taco Bell. That's hell of a lot, dude, that's like well, a week's was, worth. It was for me and my buddy too, and I was like, God damn, this is probably like 20 fucking eight dollars. This completely sucks. <laughs> it's half our money. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of fake copper for money. <laughs> Have you guys ever been on, or Anthony, you've probably been on set, and so all of you guys have probably been on set, you ever hang out at the extras tent? Like, after, like once you were done being an extra. Yeah, it gets weird. It gets weird in there, it gets right? Weird. Oh, bro. Extras are like a whole nother level. <laughs> Said the extra. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 then I was in a, I was in a film um, uh, God, called The Wedding Ringer with Kevin Hart, right? And old Kev, he's my bud, right? Old Kev, and, yeah, Kevin and Hart. I, and I was in there, but I was a featured. I was featured. Oh, shit. So then, a featured extra? Yeah, featured they give extra. you a chair and shit. <laughs> so, so that's the thing, right? That's the best part, is that like, you know, I basically got this role because of my YouTube channel, and they're like, we want you to fucking promote the movie with, with, through your YouTube shit. So I was like, whatever, sure, cool. Um, they didn't really say that, but that was kind of the understanding. And then so I show up, and like, I'm supposed to be like a groom or some shit, and we, I'm in the movie Dude, a little bit. Groom. And then afterwards, the, the extras like come up to me, like in the parking lot, and they're like, y y did you get a bump? Did you get a bump? And I'm like, the fuck oh. you talking? They're talking about drugs. <laughs> 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 this is where it gets you're, weird. Like, you were you were definitely on camera day. You're you're definitely getting a bump. You you better tell them that. You better tell them that. And, and they're like, oh, you, wow. yeah. And they're like, oh, you get to eat the hot food too. They can't even they can't shoot you away with the broom. They got they have to feed you the hot food, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were their like hero because they thought you were originally you yeah, one yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. They were they who graduated. But, oh my god. Yeah. And they're like, how's the hot food? Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> how was the bump? Tell me about the oh, bump. What's Steve? it like? Oh, I try to go over there, and they're like, shoot, you get the fuck out of here! <laughs> like, oh. They separated the featured and the regular extra. They do, huh? they do, yeah. They kick you yeah, into the fucking curve. That's just wild. Up. Yeah. When I was, my first thing I ever did that was professional was I was an extra in a, a Papa Roach music video for Scars. No way. Uh, and then I just remembered that at one point, uh, and I feel like this was nefariously done. We were on set, and then uh, they were like, yo! Uh, is any two girls here want to make out for the, for the video? Ryan. And then <laughs> <laughs> immediately Ryan and Eric. I just remember thinking like, damn, that's that's pretty fucking cool. They're definitely gonna be in the video. And then these two girls, they made them like make out so many times. They filmed it and all. Shit. Are they featured? Like, can you guys take off your shirts now? They weren't oh, even yeah. in the video at all. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I really think they, they were just fucking, fucking with them? around. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's because like. Up. They didn't, they're not even in the video as extras at all. Did they even record them? They were just walking I don't know. by the I set. I thought they were, cause they... <laughs> they weren't even oh, hired. We'll pay you. Pay you. Just I'll put in, your name on this list. <laughs> I was in a music video. We, know we were filming it like so fucking late at night. And it was so hot in LA. It was like fucking 104 degrees at night even. And I was there with, you guys remember Glozell? Yeah. Oh, she's, yeah a, she's, she's a crazy. sweetie, I love Glozell. So it was me and her, 
the whole time we're like dancing for this fucking music video against like whatever the hell. So you're such a you're dancer. Kind of I don't even, dude, the best your thing. Style? Uh, dude, my style is fucking killing it. <laughs> I was bringing the fucking heat, right? Yeah, bringing the funk. <laughs> Jujitsu dance. And the Butt best scooting. the best thing is like me and Glazelle, like, I probably looked like I just walked out of a pool as I left there. I was so sweaty and shit. And then I finally see the music video, and I'm not in it one time, not even one frame, not even the back of my fucking head's in it. <laughs> <laughs> Glozell is all over the motherfucking thing. I don't even know how they cut me out of it. <laughs> movie magic, bro. Yeah, movie magic, dude. They probably yeah. they brought in industrial light and magic to fucking edit you out. Pay George Lucas's company to fucking get me out of there. <laughs> So I thought it'd be funny. We're gonna look at some times when, in really popular movies, where an extra ruined the scene. Oh, oh yeah. nice. nice! Starting That's with the only reason why I watch. Starting movies. with Alfred, <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock. This is a 1959 movie called North by Northwest. There's a scene that they were running over and over where a gunshot happens. A fucking kid knows it's coming, and he goes like this right before. Continuity. <laughs> wow. Watch him in the back. He's like sitting at the table. He's right here. She shot Cary Grant. Is that him? And there's Mount Rushmore right in the back, man. Who the fuck's in Mount Rushmore? You can't see it. What the hell? That's not the. Let me see that shit. There's Mount Rushmore. If that's real, then that's like the like the. That's really. There's a place. There's Mount Rushmore right there. That's that's see that's the privilege for only like. Wait, Mount Rushmore is white colored? That's Mount Rushmore. Oh wow. What did you think it was black people? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was the king. I thought it was the kings of comedy. But he told me that you can't even see Mount Rushmore, dude. It's so hard to see. Can we, can we do that again? But I can I have that line? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Steve, one second. I want that line. Just try it. All right, go ahead and take it from the top. I'll go like this before. Right. <laughs> Here's another scene in Teen Wolf, where an extra stands up. You know, like when you're an extra and you're, well, I guess you don't have to be an extra for this, but you know when you sit down and you got a little fupa going so you unbutton your pants so yeah. it's a little bit easier? Yeah. Long days, you're gonna do that. This person did that, forgot that it was uh, unbuttoned, stood up, and then, uh, yeah, you see the rest. <laughs> right there. Oh. <laughs> that's that's real life though. That's real life. That's real life. That's real life. That's a real person. That's okay. Yeah, I like the fumble. Yeah. As a director, yeah. is that grounds for a reshoot, or would you just go fuck oh, it? Oh, absolutely not. I'd zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> as an editor, I would zoom in. As a, as a director. You're like, what's his name? That guy's a star. You get me his name. <laughs> it's been discovered, dude. Or it's just like, hey, who are the guys that got Steve Green out of that other video? We need their help. Yeah. And they're like, they're like, man, that's gonna be fucking work, but. <laughs> I love the ad libs. This one, I don't know if this is like a joke, but it's from the Will Ferrell movie, Everything Must Go. Maybe you would know if it was like a gag, but there's a scene where these kids are just kicking it right here while they're having a conversation. And then when it cuts back later on, the kids are like dead frozen. Look, you'll see them in the back. It's cool, we were in the desert and Oh my God, look at the photo. What? <laughs> That's weird. That, I mean, with Will Ferrell, you just never know, though. <laughs> Wait, what? That was so <laughs> awkward. I think they would just pan over to the kids and be like... <laughs> They're just like fucking dead. Dude, there's this fucking, there's this fucking Clint Eastwood movie, this old Clint Eastwood movie. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, no, no, let him talk, yo. And let him just, talk, yo. So just before he's gonna kiss this little girl, there's a guy in the background who's like... <laughs> Stupid. Have you seen that before? You know that clip? Very you heard of, no. um... <laughs> you should watch the movie. It's really good. You ever heard of Old Enough for Kisses? Am I old enough for kisses? <laughs> no, is this I what you walk. said? <laughs> Am I old enough for it's kisses? <laughs> there is a There is a very disturbing Clint Eastwood movie that we uh -huh. referenced that has probably one of the... And at the end, we'll just show it to you and get yeah, your reaction. Because yeah. anyone that's new here, we gotta get their life. Okay, reaction. yeah. But for now, I'm we're gonna go it. and check out Mr. Nanny. Mr. Oh, Nanny! Yes. A classic. Do you know about the I little Easter egg in this? this? No. So this one's not really an extra. It might actually be a real fucking dude. So in this uh, montage, sorry. Yeah. Throw in this montage when he's on a bike going by. In the background, a dude's just tossing his dog into the water. Oh my god! Oh, I've heard about that. It's a little, it's a little eerie. This actually. montage is sick, though. You remember this, right? This is a Hulk Hogan movie, right? Yeah. Yep. Hulk Hogan. Yeah. So look at the background. This is before Hulk Hogan. Why? 
<laughs> it's the cool. toss too. Wait. One more time. Wait, what? <laughs> I like how they dog. kept that in there because it's Wait. very like apparent. <laughs> like they could have put that. Just out. threw that dog in there. Because they needed to get this shot of Hulk Hogan doing this. We're gonna learn how to swim today. So that, that was the expense. Like yeah. no, we gotta have wow. this. We you gotta to know he it. wipes his nose. No one will believe he's really there unless they see this. What the fuck? Oh, this is really fucking weird. The editor probably did that as a joke because he it was probably like real and he's like we're gonna we gotta leave that fucker in there. You do editing jokes when you edit stuff? I wish. For other I wish editors, stuff like that happened. <laughs> I wish. I mean, there there are times, yeah. but. <clears throat> Jeez. Not as a pair as that. Yeah. All right, this next one brings us to Quantum yeah. of Solace. Ooh. There's a guy sweeping in the background, and his broom's not even touching the ground. Keep looking here. <laughs> Why? Why? Dude? Why? It's harder to not sweep. <laughs> Isn't it? Why? You know what, hey, this might be a hot take, but that guy, he should die, dude. No, it's the same thing when like directors tell all the extras to just walk normally yeah. and we're like <laughs> yeah. same arm, same leg. <laughs> You're like is that just, do you do you think that could be a thing where like they don't want to make noise? Yeah. I was thinking that too, like sound. Absolutely. Like, can you pretend? Because the sound is messing yeah, shit up. Yeah, but the up. thing is, <laughs> Does that guy depending on the problem? budget, they have props that won't make right, sound. Right, right. So like, like they maybe have paper they bags that are totally that. silent, right? Right. right. Oh wow! He can't just be walking in the background. Or maybe he did it like the first time, and then a bunch of dust came up and stuff like that, and it, like ruined areas of the shots. So the judge is like, he's doing it too hard. We just need all these extras to explain themselves. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It's so difficult to not let it touch the floor. Yeah, it's uh, it's impossible. It's a lot of work. Yeah, you gotta hover it. This one, this is from Dark Knight Rises. Oh yeah. There's a stunt. There's a stunt guy right here. You seen this one? Yeah. You know about this? Yeah. So th in the stunt world, this is like a known one. Yeah. This is like very. Known. Okay. Because we all saw it in this fucking is, IMAX. So well, I mean, tell, like, us, this is tell us more like about this. Worst after you movie watch it. When it comes to this guy doesn't get hit by anything. He fucking gets knocked out. Look. <laughs> I mean, it's so dark. This happens a few times. In oh, it oh, really? Yeah. What was the reason? What was the reason? Are these, are these actual stud guys, or is that just an extra that was asked to be another dude? You know, party? funny you say that. That does happen a lot sometimes. Mm. Um, really? They're just running sometimes, low? Sometimes, yeah. Oh, so sometimes, and that's need more never... more falls. Yeah, that's never the... Only. And then what are they doing? They're just standing there, and then they're like, there's no bad guy, so they're just like, oh! Yeah. <laughs> or the choreography was done differently, and then just the continuity, and then he was just like, well, I'm just doing muscle memory at this point. Like, I don't know. I mean, there were so many things that were just Jeez. overlooked in that movie. That you said pretty, that's never an option. You mean, like, it's it's always mm. a bad idea to ask a non-stunt guy Absolutely. to just do a stunt? And the people who are the actual stunt men or women on set, they're like, it's like telling somebody like jump in choreography for a dance. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? True. Like that's it's pretty like, fucked oh, up. Oh hey, yeah. you guys have this performance that you've been rehearsing for the past few weeks. Nah, Let's just have this yeah. person who has no idea what they're doing. What do you yeah, think happened weird. in that movie? Because I agree with you. Like the third act, that whole huge extra fight scene is like wow. Yeah, the stunts and the fight scenes were just uh Terrible. It didn't even it's look bad. like they were actually fighting each other it in the entire really, third act. Yeah. Really bad. <laughs> was that what with the, the cops and the, the yeah the cops and, and Bane and, and all that jail prison guys? Yeah. yeah. I think there's one training sequence in Tenet also that is hilarious when you look at the choreography. It's like, <laughs> and you know choreography. <laughs> and you know choreography. You're a bad boy choreo. All right, this one's uh these are the last ones we're gonna do. Uh, this is from, I think, what is this? You only, you only live twice. Classic. Classic. Uh, there's an explosion that happens. The bad guy holds a cat for most of that movie. The explosion freaks the cat out. And you can see the cat visibly just like oh. going through it. Look at this. Look at this cat he's holding. Look at the look at the vice grip he's got on Doctor Evil. Look at the whole movie. It's usually just like a docile, like you know, it's part of his like costume. The cat's like, get me out of this shit! <laughs> he's all slowing on to it, like for dear life, trying to finish. Poor this cat, bro. Poor cat. Uh, I know. So we're gonna we're gonna end this by showing her the uh, McBee clip. Mm, we're just gonna okay. see what she thinks. Yeah, we want to see your your thoughts as a director. Okay. And like, what kind of choices would, would you, you make? Have to, yeah. And it, would you change any of this? Or? Yeah. And maybe the coloration, color. something. Yeah, color grading. Okay, this is purely for Colleen. Ready? Okay. What does mm. stunt work? Wait, hold on. I, I can't with this. And what's the character's motivation? This instantly. 
<laughs> oh, thank you. Right. D wait, where's the little X? We can wait, just install it. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna install it. <laughs> Live on yeah. camera. Oh, and update it. Leave it in, leave it in. <laughs> leave it in. So like, what would you do? Like, how would you? How do you film that? Like, is it the color rate? I thought it was too dark. Like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it. Yeah. They they needed to light it up more. It was I not. Agree. It was it wasn't that good. I agree. I think they needed like a bounce board or something. I mean, I'm no expert. Do you think cut to him like growing up or something? Yeah. Not, not should, just. Do you yeah. think? Do you think people really call him McBee? I think she does. That character. <laughs> that character. Weird. You think her birthday is really in September? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I think she's lying. Do you think they're, they're real actors? <laughs> Any I think they used the, the, a kid double. Yeah, and they brought in the 12 year old boy right after as the stunt double for the kids. So, anytime you hear say old enough for kisses, that's what we're talking about. Okay. Um, Final so thoughts? <laughs> after seeing a bunch of extras fucking up scenes. Yeah. And then this. This is yeah. the first time we got to show a girl this, this clip, so <laughs> yeah. we're all pretty excited right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're all pretty excited. <laughs> really stoked about getting a female I just, I, <laughs> What do you think about our show? <laughs> I have more questions than than comments. <laughs> I have more questions. He's the guy with the answers. Yeah. You have the answers. I have a couple. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs>